It's me. It's a fossil. We're gonna help with the research committee. Pronto stat. Let's. Are you guys ready? What's in it? A thousand. That's it? A thousand bells? Let's drop something. I think you can. Let me see. Because I haven't played this game since I was a little kid. Let me see if I remember how to do this. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing. Let me begin. Oh. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I thought you could bury this. Maybe you have to have your thing out? Whoa, not your thing out. Oh, it it just planted. Alright, maybe we did it wrong. So this is the trick. Oldest trick in the book. Things other YouTubers are afraid to show. Whoa. Just hit 8 p.m. boys. Oh, I missed. I want my own personal gyroid. Oops. I thought there was something to do with uh, these things too. Like you could hit at a certain patch. But. Check this out. One of the rocks each day has a million coins in it or something. And this is not like a... Oh, if you press up A on the... Pokemon thing. Oh look, we got a little little buggy poop. If you press up A on the truck, you get Mew. Nope, this is actually 100% confirmed. And I will show you. A little mousecapade. <gasps> oh, don't mind if I do. It's a gyroid. A tall gungoid. <laughs> That's what they used to call me in high school. The long, the tall gungoid. Hmm. You just have to remember the locations of all the rocks in town. This is quite just a peaceful experience. You could tell a lot about a person based on their, like, the games they played when they were kids. Some people, they like killing people. You know, I'm, I like the Animal Crossing. And sending notes about murdering people instead. Oh, think you can hide from me? Okay, before we give those fossils back, I want to dig up everywhere in town. Oh, I forgot about these. Don't mind me, copper. Oh, my pockets are full. Uh, drop it. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hello, my friend. Donate an item. Splendid. What no doubt priceless item do you have for me today? I have... I have these fossils. Woo, who an unexamined fossil. My heart has set a Twitter at the very thought. Twitter, he, they came up with Twitter. I am a fervent student of pa paleontology and I am fairly confident that I can assess the identity of the specimen. However, I must confess, I have yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer a, an official examination. But if I were, if I were mistaken... You see, I fear I would be class shall we say, severely chastised. Yes, quite severely indeed. I'm terribly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main faraway museum for a proper examination. What? I've received- you've received a letter from the faraway museum. Not yet. Well who? No letter yet. Don't fret about it over much. I believe it should arrive sometime tomorrow. Once you receive it, you'll be able to correspond with the faraway museum and won't- that be nice. Say hey, what? Brilliant minds they have over there, simply brilliant. Please send them any fossils you happen to excavate. They will return your fossils as soon as they have finished identifying them. Rather tidy little system, don't you say? Oh, one more thing. While you're waiting for your initial correspondence from the faraway museum, you must not rebury fossils in the earth. I was actually planning on doing that. This is very important, you see. Vital. Terribly crucial. Don't ask me why, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not quite sure of the reasoning myself. It seems that reburying creates some confusion about whether or not you're re ready to receive that letter. So it's just a bug that they didn't know how to patch. 
You don't have to carry any fossils. You don't have to carry the fossils with you. Just don't bury them again. You may keep them in your flat. You may even scatter them on the landscape, I suppose, if you so desire. So that, as they say, is that. I do hope it's clear. What? I trust you'll follow my instructions to the letter. Now, is there anything you would dare, you would care to show me? No, you piece of freaking... Actually, oh, this is terribly embarrassing, but to be honest, we have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really? What we have here, you can cut to the quick. When you cut to the quick, is very large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open around the clock and gladly accept donations from residents of Frickland at all times. We do appreciate your support. Yeah, you accept donations at all times except for when I'm trying to donate to you. I'll donate a freaking basketball, bud. Okay, so... There's a rock here, but we're not going to be able to pick that up yet. Because we... Well, I suppose we can. Hold on. Because you can put the money in your actual, like, money pocket. Money folder. Grab. Boom, baby. Because this is the money rock. Oh, we missed. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. No, one sec. There's also another trick. I'm going to try to remember it. If you get behind it and put and use a... And make like a uh, wall, you won't get pushed back by your shovel. I believe that's the case. So let's try this out. Well, it's not even the right one. So, you know, you kind of have to hope it's the correct one when you do this trick. I know I got some Animal fans, Animal Crossing fans watching. I hope uh, these tricks help you. No, not quite. We just got another one of those weird bugs. Step on it. Oh, why are the bugs so small but the animals are so big? What has happened here? Oh, we can't pick it up yet. I'm sorry, we, we just can't. Rocky Balboa, where's our cashola? We gotta cut these trees down. They're obstructing, obstructing private property. Oh, wrong. Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, Frick Hydra was digging about a six foot hole for Alfonso, I believe. No, let, well, let's clean that one up. Oh, I thought the music changed real quick. This is it. I, I feel it in the heart of the cards. No, not quite. All right, well, you know. You live and you learn. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built on a day. Probably like a Wednesday or something. Hmm. Hmm. Ohio Gazimas. Mr. Rock. We're searching for Dwayne the Rock. This is it. Tell me you did not get a feeling when you saw it. The largest rock in mankind. It's storing the cash. Alright, well, people aren't going to believe me. They're going to be like, this guy's actually having a panic attack. He, he thinks that rocks are going to start giving him some gold, but I believe it myself. I'm no master of Animal Crossing, but I know the intricacies. I know the ins, outs, and the buts. This isn't... Did we already do these? Yeah. It's probably not safe to test it by just hitting it. Okay. It's gotta be over here. It's gonna be the last rock we check. That's how it always works. Little fishing dock. <sighs> Rocky Balboa, baby. Alright, good night, Alfonso. It's gonna be a real good night for one of us. If you know what I'm saying, because you're gonna die. God dang it. Please, not like this. We must claim our cash. It's a get rich quick scheme. Except it actually works. No offense, Tom Crook. Okay, this is the one. It's like that that part in Spy Kids 3 when he's like, I'm the guy. And then he's he's dead instantly. That's how I feel right now. I'm like, dude, dude, I'm the guy. I I'll get all the money from these rocks.
But once I do it, it'll all be worth it. It's all about that hard days of work. Hard days work, I mean. Let's go! Get me that cash! We got everything we needed. Tell me! You you all denied it. You were like, this guy's going crazy. This is not a feature to Animal Crossing 4. Drop it. Let's go. It 100 bells, but it's okay. It increments upward. 100 bells. Alright. 100 bells. What is this? A thousand bells? A thousand bells. Look at that cash flow. We're already almost there. Grab. Boom shakalaka. We just basically doubled our net profits. This is how I became a millionaire at age 17. Well, I was playing Animal Crossing probably when I was like 10? 11? It only happens with one rock a day though. That was Dwayne the Rock Johnson right there. Okay. Let's head back home. Place some fossils so we can get ready for the new day. The gyroid. Tall Nagongoid. I love him. I must collect all the gongoids. Well, all the roids in general. And uh, we're gonna save here at Mr. Green's gyroid home. Save. Request process. Please enter the house. We've done it, boys. Another hard day's work. And people say I'm not working. You all done? What do you want me to do? Save and quit. Okay, let me save your town data for you then. Hang tight for a minute. I'm saving your town data to your memory card in slot A. Do not turn the power off or remove the memory card. Or else the demonic Mr. Rossetti will appear. Score, we're all done here. Hey, catch you later. Oh, don't look at that in the top left. Well, that'll do it for Animal Crossing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I'm going to be coming back. This is a new series, replacing Killer7 after the finagle fiasco that happened with Killer7. Uh, rest in peace. Um, thank you again. And expect more Animal Crossing. You're coming straight to your brainstem, boys. That's it.